So, I do apologize for the absence I've had. Um, kind of got hit with flu and pneumonia, but we're finally able to talk now, so we can do this. But, um, getting on to this, Everson Griffin op op opted out of his contract today, and I do think it was a fully expected move. Um, it kind of looked like the contract was designed for him to, you know, for them to want him to opt out, um, just because it did put Minnesota over the cap, and the things that he had to achieve in order to give it, be given the option to void it, um, he had to get at least six sacks and play 56% of the snaps. He got eight sacks, and he played 78%, and Everson Griffin is still a good defensive end. He did accumulate eight sacks. He got 11 tackles for loss, 24 quarterback hits, 13 hurries, 13 quarterback knockdowns, and 35 total pressures. Not bad, and all those numbers are from Pro Football Reference. Um, and I do think Everson Griffin could come back. He spent his entire career in Minnesota, and that goes all the way back to 2010. So I do think both sides would be willing to you know, consider the possibility of a reunion here, and he could re-sign probably for you know, not as much because, yeah, it's just the nature of these things sometimes. Um, but we do need to talk about what happens if he doesn't come back, which is also a very real possibility. And so do you move Hunter over to Everson's side like he did when, you know, in 2018 when Griffin kind of went haywire for a little bit? And then you just hope Odenigbo can hold down the other side? Or is this an early round need now? Like, do you need to spend a first or a second round draft pick on, you know, uh, Gross Matos from Penn State or something like that, or if someone falls to you in the first round, or do you need to do that? Or is this kind of more of a third, fourth, fifth round kind of need where you're saying, like, well, we hope Odenigbo can do it, but it wouldn't be bad to have someone behind him to kind of push things and maybe rotate them with and all those kinds of things. But you'd still largely be relying on Odenigbo, which is the kind of things you have to do when you put yourself into these kind of cap situations where it's like when you have to make these decisions because you don't have money, <laughs> you have to rely on these more unproven, cheaper players. And Odenigbo is slightly proven, I guess. He did get seven sacks this past season, but he's, you know, never been a full-time starter. And so I just wonder if this is going to be more of a second, third round kind of need, potentially, if they view it that way as more of the first, just because they do have other needs. You know, guards and, you know, just offensive line in general. Uh... Then you have the corner situation, potentially safety with Anthony Harris leaving. And, yeah, you do have other needs that this money thing has, you know, kind of exploded. And, but as far as this move is concerned, this brings Minnesota out of the red from, you know, around negative $11 million in cap. So, significantly in the red. And it brings them to around... 1.3 million in space, which is in the positive, but obviously more moves need to come, which could be, you know, by way of Xavier Rhodes or uh, Linval Joseph is another one that I think could be on, you know, the cutter trade list potentially or restructure. Reef is kind of in that same kind of realm of restructure kind of things. And then you have a potential Kirk Cousins extension which could lower his cap hit from $31 million this season. And if you can get that lower, obviously that would help. But, you know, there's a lot of people that would be opposed the whole, oh, let's keep Kirk for longer approach. Um, so, yeah, 
I'd like to know your guys' thoughts down below. Should this just be an Odenning bow hunter thing now, or should they try to retain Griffin? Because I think it's going to be hard to keep Griffin around based off of money, but he is still kind of like a leader of the team. So you probably should try. Don't know if you prevail, but someone's going to need to step up into that role if he doesn't come back, and that's something that we need to think about because he kind of energizes you know, the defense. <laughs> um, but yeah, your thoughts on all that? Uh, liking and subscribing always helps. And until next time, I bid y'all adieu.